Hey, 42 here. It's common knowledge that the inhumanities carried out by the Nazi party under the reign of Adolf Hitler during the Second World War were unspeakably horrific. But here's some little known facts about Hitler and the Nazi party that you might not know. During World War II, Nazi scientists developed an experimental cocktail of drugs containing oxycodone, cocaine and methamphetamine. When they gave the cocktail to test subjects, they gained almost superhuman powers and were able to march over 90 kilometers a day whilst carrying a 20 kilogram backpack without any fatigue. When Berlin fell, Two Nazi submarines declined to surrender and instead remained submerged for two months before landing in Argentina. One is said to have offloaded a Nazi officer before it was detected. In 1945, US President Dwight D. Eisenhower predicted that people would try to dispel the fact that the Holocaust ever actually happened. So, he ordered innumerable pictures to be taken of the Nazi crimes to hinder any such attempts. A German soldier during World War II called Werner Goldberg was branded the ideal German soldier because of his physical appearance. Ironically, he was half Jewish. The Nazis were animal lovers. Many Nazi leaders, including Hitler and Hermann Göring, were ardent supporters of animal rights and conservation. The Nazi party even introduced animal protection laws and laws that limited the hunting of animals. Hitler himself even became a vegetarian towards the later stages of his life. In 1939, the Nazis formed a plan to counterfeit the British pound to cause hyperinflation and send the British economy into meltdown. Using a German concentration camp, they manufactured over 132 million British pounds sterling, which is the equivalent of 7 billion pounds today. Their plan was a partial success. The Nazis believed that Germans as a race were superior to all other human beings. But it wasn't only Germans that became Nazis. The Nazis kidnapped hundreds of thousands of Polish children whom they deemed to be racially superior and forcibly Germanized them. After the war ended, only 10% of them ever returned to Poland, which is a striking example of the Nazis brainwashing power. The Nazis were obsessed with invading Switzerland. It's no secret the Nazis were always fond of a good invasion. By June 1941, they had invaded and occupied Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, France, Greece, Denmark, Yugoslavia, Norway and Poland. Switzerland, however, has a famous long-standing neutrality. It never takes sides. But the Nazis had no intentions of respecting that. Hitler hated Switzerland. He called it a pimple on the face of Europe. They put all their efforts into invading it, but it wasn't an easy task, due to Switzerland being surrounded by perilous mountains. So they eventually gave up. Hitler loved a good joke. Hitler had a small collection of favorite jokes that he enjoyed telling over and over again. His all-time favorite was, one day, Mrs. Goring came into the bedchamber and found her husband waving his field marshal's baton over his underwear. Herman, darling, what are you doing? She inquired. I am promoting my underpants to overpants. The Germans gravely feared and hated secret police force, the Gestapo, was headed by Heinrich Müller. Widely regarded as a purely evil individual, who presided over countless tortures and executions during the war. Müller was seen in Hitler's bunker the day after his suicide. But after that, he completely vanished, never to be seen again. To this day, he is the most senior member of the Nazi regime whose whereabouts are not known. 
Many people involved with the Nazi regime have said that they believe he is still alive and it is rumoured that he escaped to South America, but he still manages to elude police detectives. When the Nazi party held its first book burning, one of the works destroyed was an 1821 play by Heinrich Hein, which contained the famous line, when they burn books, they will, in the end, also burn people. The United States gave asylum to Nazi war criminals for decades and subsequently tried to cover it up until they were sued under the Freedom of Information Act. Although widely disputed, it is thought that Nazi doctors were the first to identify the link between smoking and lung cancer. Because of this, the Nazis were very anti-smoking and launched one of the first ever known anti-smoking campaigns. The Nazis tried to cure homosexuality by forcing homosexual inmates to have sex with female sex slaves. Coco Chanel, founder of the Chanel brand, was a Nazi spy. Chanel loved power, so naturally she found a home amongst the Nazi officials. Not only did Chanel steal her famous perfume, Chanel No. 5, from the Jewish family that financed it, but she also got them to pay her living expenses. The Nazis planned to turn the whole of Moscow and Warsaw into artificial lakes. The Nazis were responsible for a lot of advances in technology. Hitler commissioned the designer of Porsche to create an everyday car that looked like a beetle. This was the start of Volkswagen, literally meaning people's car. The new car was a huge success and became one of the most popular vehicles in the world. Hitler was also an enthusiastic supporter for the construction of autobahns. He pushed for the world's largest network of roads to be built across Germany. Being the first ever freeway system, the Autobahn was a legendary feat of engineering that has since been emulated by Britain and America. A member of the Nazi party was also responsible for creating modern day rocketry as we know it. Aerospace engineer Werner von Braun was a member of the Nazi party who basically fathered modern day rocketry. Since World War II he has become a US citizen working at NASA and he developed the Saturn V booster rocket that helped man finally reach the moon. After the Second World War more than 7,000 Nazi sympathizers committed suicide. In addition to 6 million Jews, the Nazis also killed an equal number of Christians, Catholics and homosexuals inside concentration camps. And finally, pretty much every Nazi official who knew Hitler didn't like his moustache, but Hitler loved it. His secretary once outwardly told him that she didn't like his moustache, to which Hitler replied, if the moustache is not a trend now, it will become one soon because I am wearing it. Thanks for the view, subscribe for more 42.